Yeah, no. Ah, let's do it anyway. Do it anyway. Alright. It was eject it was ejected, I had to do it. I had to do it. Oh you wanna suck it. Oh run. Run 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 run. Alright, yeah, um So my first attempt and shooting the UFO is um, basically it worked perfectly fine. I, I did everything I should have done. Where are you? Uh, yeah, um, and I, I got uh, my uh, my something got a couple of shots off before the UFO managed to run, and and um, because I I was still getting used to the how to use the interface because that interface is back. It doesn't tell you which one, what each button does. It gives you like, I don't know, uh, one, two, six, six, yeah, it gives you like 12 buttons. Uh, now, two are obvious. One, 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 you know, makes your guy run away. Well, boy, that bandit hung himself from his own tombstone. It's dark, it's depressing, I don't understand what I'm talking about. It's perfect! Putting that in the poem! Hmm. Yeah, so uh, my first intercept to work out worked out that looks like what I just got I just had to get used to the thing with Doogie. To the um to the uh, UI. Which again they don't tell you. It's you know for DOS. And I believe, uh, and if you want me to guess, I, I could look it up on Wikipedia, because my computer right next to me, it's uploading stuff to YouTube, like always. Uh, but um, if you want me to guess, I believe it was two generations before 95, before Windows 95. Don't quote me on that, but that's close enough. Well, that's close enough for me. Oh, he's a fun guy. All right, so um, yeah, uh, yeah. My second at UF, yeah, and actually, uh, and then my um, my interceptor somehow cut up to it twice, a second time, and it shot it down. Except it was over, uh, I think I think it was over the Atlantic, so it didn't really work out good. Um, but the second time, uh, second time the UFO came over from Mexico and decided to get and decided to run to uh, Canada, and uh, my guys were, were done refueling after a couple of uh, after a couple of patrols, and it, and um, I said I sent one to uh, you know basically I, I had one flat out try to intercept you know a dumb move especially because uh, the UFOs are you know much much faster. And I w and I did something smart with the other one. I, I did it. I, did, I I I did it dumb on purpose, simply because if it was going to turn and if my guesstimate on where to put the second one w uh, was wrong, then I you know, he would still be on him. And if you slow down or try to land, he'll be on top of him. And which is almost exactly what happened, except my guesstimate was correct, and I get and I moved one and I moved the second guy once more to uh to actually um. Shoot down the Saka. So that was my first UFO crash landing. Shot him down. Um, so I sent out the Sky Ranger, which holds eight people for goodness sake. You know, uh, the only game, the new game, I believe, and the new game in its demo it had four people. And starting out, you get eight people in the in the old game for some reason, which is which you can consider not a bad thing, but you can also consider it kind of necessary your face because of the fact that you, I don't think you guys I don't think the guys slash girls can use cover in the old game like they can in the new game more. 
So yeah. And basically, I had I had um, eight. I had six people wait in the hangar when um, Sky Ranger to uh, you know. Yes. I, I had s uh, six people wait in the Sky Ranger. To just you know, because I only like I only want to use four to make sure I don't get in trouble. And then I don't kill all eight people. That would be ridiculous. I mean, I, all eight people, all eight, yeah, all eight, all twelve, maybe. I need a precise number. All right, I had four people out, and I had six people inside. So four people out, six people inside, ten. Yeah, there's ten people that you start out with. I think, yeah. And basically, um, oh, run, 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 it's going to grenade. Oh, that worked perfectly. Don't knock me up the edge, you jerk. I know you want to. There we go. Oops, free singularity grenade. Is it a long ball? Alright, so, um, so, after. Yes, that's what I want. Right there. I gotta try this. And it sticks too. Ah, only only can I imagine what that means. Alright, so um and basically I had the uh, so basically I shot the UFO over Canada. So like so then I proceeded to send uh, four people to check out the area six, uh, six people weighing in the craft so uh, while they were checking out the area me learning how to control the people on the ground um, uh, a little a great a great came up and found the Sky Ranger he came around the drop he came around the um, came around behind it basically wanted to get inside steal all our stuff and all six of them opened fire on him. And they instantly team killed someone. Dusty was just a puppy. Almost as nice as my first dog. You let your boss know I'm gonna do to him exactly what he did to her. Except Snow White. You, what do you mean they you ain't from her period? Oh, must be a new recruit. All right, boys. Let's put him through the ringer. Goddamn oh, yeah. Um, the Slab King won't talk to you unless you join his gang. So just survive whatever initiation he's got planned for you, and then give him that note. Shoot them all! Okay, I can do that. Look at Oh, snap. Bruiser with armor. Bruiser with armor. That's overkill. Instant second wind again. I'm, I'm getting too good at that. The checkpoint! Yeah, so... Apparently the AI in the original team kill like no one's business. Also, something I figured out is they don't know what an edge of the building means. Have fun! I'll see you guys later. Oh, snap! Open fire! Open fire. Stuck. That didn't really work. But then again, they're gonna Oh, guy, guy I can talk to. Um, so yeah, they are in that game are kind of dumb. They don't know. I bet like. Shoot this guy in the face. Get thrown off edge or something. No one likes you. Not even your mother. Not even your father. Not even your cousin. Fargan! Fargan! No! No! Ah, I'm dead. Ah, ha, ow. Alright, so that's been 24 minutes and I explained, you know, basically only my five hours. No, no, that's like two hours of playing XCOM. Alrighty.
Uh, yeah, so... Also, the game won't... Thank you. I will. Uh, this is not smart. This is not smart by any form of the imagination. Just letting you guys know that. Alright. Alright, so... Yeah, um... Uh, yeah, um... Also, what the game doesn't tell you is when you're done with the area. What you have to do is you have to... You know, basically check, double check every square inch of that area twice, or maybe three times. Make sure you killed everyone so you get all their stuff. And yeah, they, and the game won't tell you to leave. What you basically do is you get all your people back into the Sky Ranger and you, you know, hit the Sky Ranger Rise button. And the Sky Ranger Rise in the base and return to base. And it tells you, oh, all your guys survived after your guys are dead, you know, how many aliens are killed, you know, with shots in the face, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I also find interesting. And I will point more of these out, A, when I play more in the game. I, I will play more of XCOM 1. You know, just, you see, because it's not particularly hard, it's just insanely hard to understand. Hi huh, man, how you doing? This is gonna hurt. That won't stop me. Yeah, insta-killing murdering shotgun to your chest. That won't stop you. We all believe you, buddy. We all do. Alright, yeah, um, when I do get around to playing, uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, you know, when it releases September 9th, I get, uh, I have a week or two before it releases, so. It's probably unlikely I will get to Halo 3. Sorry about that to those people watching my Halo Marathon. But, um, I guess when Assassin, I guess when I get halfway through Assassin's Creed or something, or I finish XCOM, I, I, I mean, I, I do have an open space between XCOM and uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter to uh, Halo 3 and so hopefully then. Okay. Well, I, I think I, I think I know who this guy is. But I don't I don't do uh tell you. Uh let me just say he was in the original game. And he might be uh and he might be like another Oh, oh that's not. Is it not? Yeah, it's not. And um So yeah, it was in the rich Ah hi No oh, face Oh snap he didn't die Oh snap he didn't die again He didn't die again I'm hitting you in the face with an axe How's that not good I'm ready for more go That's true. He also may be tall. Huh. He may be for bigger weapons. Ah, I'm on the ground. He may he may be named for uh, building material. And uh, he also may have a multi-million dollar bounty on him. Hey man, how you doing? How you doing? I missed. I missed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I didn't miss. Okay, no fooling around. I got a sniper rifle that I don't want to pull out. I'm on the ground. Hmm. Alright. And go. And let's get to
the rocket launch back out because that was not a good surprise at all. Open the. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, that's not good. Oh yeah, um, when I when I got XCOM one, I I also got the pack for fourteen dollars on Steam, which gives you all the XCOM games that are on Steam, which is pretty much all the XCOM games. Enforcer, it's the third person, the third person spin-off game. Also, um, Interceptor, which takes place after XCOM Apocalypse, and it's a flying, and it's a space flying game. You know, uh, also, uh, you know, Apocalypse and uh, and the Deep, which are the official sequels. Uh, the original sequels. Yeah. Uh, original sequels yeah. Yeah. Fucking great. Oh, oh my axe. Yeah. I worked. I threw it. Reload, Dragon! I will, you will suck. I will suck. That's right. On the range, Charles, yes. I was trying to make that make sense. 